What's different in the current masteries right now is there's actually more variety of what kind of masteries you can get or what kind of stats you can get. Last year, you had more simple mastery, I would say, since you could only be choose between one last key point and the last key mastery is the strongest mastery by far. For the guys, I think most people are playing Fervor right now, but I think Fungal Lord is still a viable option. Fungal Lord is better in lane, as it's better for trading. Fair Battle is better if you actually have a longer fight where you actually hit people. DPS against Burst, you know. DPS is here first, Burst is here, and then DPS goes up here. For support, uh, when Speaker's Blessing, you get it if you shield someone, and the shields will be like 8% stronger or something. Same for heals. Um, and Bond of Stone, you just want to soak up as much damage as possible and you get a lot of damage reduction from it. I like the result tree a lot, because uh, the stats are a high value. Sometimes you can get like a little bit of uh, HP that will also like turn, a, turn things around like in an early skirmish. Or in jungle, uh, usually you're gonna play uh, something that is, has high health. Um, even like, for example, a Graves can, can go like result tree and tankiness is always good. If you are a, m a melee and you need early game sustain, you can go for the Grasp of the Undying. If you want a lot of burst and you are sure you're gonna dominate the lane, you can go for Thunderlord. The decision between taking one mastery or another often relies on the champ. It depends on what your playstyle is or what do you want to bring out of your champion or character. A change is always welcome on something that has to change for like two years or something. The new masteries bring a lot more options, and I think now you can clearly see if you're a smarter than your opponent.